Mainline pressure, aka baseline pressure, aka line pressure, is the highest pressure in the transmission. It is created by the fluid pump and the pressure regulator valve. It then makes its way to the rest of the transmission and can be changed into lower pressures, such as torque signal or solenoid signal. But you don't have to worry about those. The test focuses on line pressure in general. During heavy loads or even in reverse gear, line pressure needs to be boosted. A booster valve is used alongside the pressure regulator valve. Modern transmissions use an electronic pressure control solenoid to regulate line pressure. You can check line pressure by connecting a pressure gauge to a pressure tap in the transmission housing, then following service information for your particular transmission. If line pressure is too high, then the shifts will be harsh. Causes could be a failed or disconnected EPC solenoid or a restricted relief valve. If line pressure is too low, the friction units will slip and can be damaged. Common causes of low line pressure are a clogged filter, an internal leak, a faulty pressure regulator valve, low fluid, aerated fluid, or low pump output. If line pressure is extremely low, the transmission will not function. To test the EPC solenoid, the setup should be the same as checking line pressure. You'll use a bidirectional scan tool to change the amperage signal to the EPC solenoid. At each signal, you would compare the pressure gauge readings to the one on the specification chart. The higher the amperage signal, the lower the pressure reading. The lower the amperage signal, the higher the pressure reading. The EPC solenoid is designed that if it fails, it will allow for high pressure to flow in the transmission rather than no pressure. Last up is a review of transmission fluid. If the transmission only slips during turns, you have a low fluid level. The pickup tube is not picking up the fluid because it is moving to the side. If the transmission slips only when cold, then this is another sign of low fluid. As the fluid heats up, it expands and can be fully picked up by the filter. Using the incorrect fluid type can cause harsh shifts. If the fluid is milky pink, aka strawberry milkshake, it has been mixed with coolant. This will destroy all friction material. The transmission would need to be overhauled. Here's a good question. Technician A says bubbles in the transmission fluid are caused by a low fluid level. Technician B says bubbles in the fluid are caused by an overfilled fluid level. Which technician is correct? Aerated fluid will lead to oxidation which will coat components such as valves with varnish, which can lead to them sticking, which will lead to transmission issues. If fluid is coming out of the vent tube, then the transmission is most likely overfilled. If the vent tube is blocked, pressure will build up inside the transmission and it will find a way out, most likely through a seal. I'll end the video with an official ASC practice question found in the official study guide. The transmission slips when cold. Which of these could be the cause? A short and low reverse pressure switch. Line pressure is at maximum in first gear. A disconnected line pressure sensor or low line pressure. Tune in to video number three. We'll talk friction and reaction units.